The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. What's up guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was Trained By Ryu Hayabusa. This is part 11. In the last part, Izuku got past Bakugo and Shoto and, and became first place into the UA obstacle race, UA Sports Festival's obstacle race. With that, and that said, let's get straight into this. With... Izuku taking first place, Shoto taking second, and Bakyo being third, with everyone else placing the same like they did in canon, but some being a little different since Mineta isn't in this isn't in this what if. With Ken with Kendo actually taking fifth place actually. Set and that said, Midnight soon explains the next round being the cavalry battle, and each and each participant has a has a has certain points that they can draw. The highest one on top would be combining of everyone else's points. As she soon explains, the person with the highest with with number one would be worth ten million points. After hearing that, Izuku's eyes just widen for a little bit. As every as he soon senses almost everyone else's eyes and presence on him, and this, and almost on the scent of murderous intent, as Izuku soon was sweating, but he soon took a deep breath, calmed his mind, and realized this would be nothing. Even if I had to do this all on my own. I'm willing to give it everything I got. If everyone here declares war on me, I'll declare war on them back. After that, everyone does feel a little bit pressured by what Izuku's words of declaration of war on everyone else is. However, Shoto and Bakugo takes this with stride, as there's not as they, as they don't feel threatened whatsoever. Soon after, Izuku takes his time thinking about who does he want to be on his team. As he begins thinking, Ida would be perfect. As he's soon approached by both Ochiko and Kendo, of all people. As Izuku saying, "Hey, you two, what are you two doing here?" As she said, as Ochiko says that she wants to help out Izuku, it would imply. And saying that it wouldn't be a fair if he was all by himself. Not only that, it's good to help out friends. As Izuku smiles a little bit, saying thanks. As he soon turns to Kendo and says, Well, I saw how strong you are. And personally, having you as a team, teaming up with you is kind of the smartest choice here, if I'm going to be honest. I would do, I would love to take you on myself, but... I rather, but knowing how strong, how well you work in the situations, work in well, de in deadly situations, I think you'd be the perfect person to work, to team up with. After that, Ken, Izuki saying, "Wow, you really thought this through, didn't you, Kendo?" As he's saying, "I got to. A hero has to, after all." Soon after, Izuki is, has two people on his team. Being three, making that three, counting himself, as he soon wonder, hmm, where's Ida? As he soon sees, he soon senses his presence, and soon was and walks up to Ida as he surprises him, as Ida gives off a little bit of a scare. Ida tells him, Midoriya, don't scare a person like that. It's kind of terrifying. As Izuku says, sorry about that. Listen, Ida, I need your help. I want you to be part of my team, if anything. I trust that you're willing to help me out. After that, Ida soon realized I'm glad, I'm grateful that you want my help, Midoriya, and I do think of you as my friend. 
and I'm like, however, I I also see you as a worthy rival, and I want to live up to my brother's name. So, if that means fighting against you, then so be it. And as Ezekiel's saying, I understand. Uh, I'll look. I look forward to crushing you in the end, though. After saying that, Izuku extends his hand to Ida as he's saying, May the best man win. As Ida soon grabs Izuku's hand and says, Likewise, Midoriya. As the two separate, he soon approaches the girls and tells them that's not happening. After that, they both feel down seeing that they couldn't get Ida. And is soon after, a girl with pink hair and goggles soon approaches them with saying, You are Izuku Midoriya, right? I hear that you're looking for another member. Want me my help? As Izuku is surprised, What? Who the heck are you? As she introduces herself as Mei Hatsume. And she wants the perfect stage to show off her support gadgets. Believing that, seeing that, Seeing he has the highest points and everybody be going after him, all eyes would be on Izuku as well. After that, Izuku realized that is true. However, what can your support items do? As she says, whatever you need them to. After that, Izuku thinks and saying that a ninja's a ninja's only as good as his as his arsenal. As he realized, all right then. I want your help, Mei Hatsume. As his team is now filled. As Izu As Izuku is on is the top at then Me- Ochiko be- being back so- alongside alongside Mei and the front and the front being well, Kendo. I was having a hard time thinking how this would work. But I think it wouldn't be too bad, if I'm going to be honest. Izuku would be the main attacker while not just being the head of the horse. He, Kendo would you would try would use one of her hands to hold every to hold Izuku still hold Izuku up while using her other hand to defend to defend them from other attacks. And Ochiko would still use would still use well, met would still use Hatsume's get support items. To, to help him out alongside Izuku. So yeah, this team wouldn't be too far, wouldn't be too bad in, in this kind of circumstances. After that, the cavalry battle begins outside of the UA Sports Festival Arena. A man wearing a black jacket, black pants, and a black tank top soon appears, saying to himself, well, Ayame, I don't know what you're thinking giving me this, but I guess I should also thank you as well. As the man holding a pass to being the for the UA Sports Festival, thinking as a guest, as he realized this is Ryu. Ayame wanted to wanted Ryu to come to the sports festival to cheer on Izuku and also see if there's many if any of if any students have the potential to become dragon to become ninjas or at least have at least a bit of training just like Izuku as he arrives at the rise at the arena during this match Izuku has been doing well defending the their points and also and also stealing points as well getting the upper hand on certain people by using his nimpo to to distract them or being his art of his art of the ice storm his art his art of the piercing void and even his art of art of the flaming phoenix which keep, which gets them at, which distracts which distracts the teams and helps them get get their get their bands and without them noticing, Izuku can can well erase his presence from other people. However, he can't do the same to his own team, which is which is again, 
which is something he can't do. It's mostly because he's pers- he's always done things on his own. Through the cavalry battle, he's mostly he's always running into Shoto, always trying to get his points. Izuku knows this and realizes that Ida is their biggest problem, with his specialty being his reciprocal burst. That's being the only. They know that Izuku knows that he, that Kendo, Ochiko, and Mei, and Hatsume can't really take care, can't really take the, take care of this, that they can't dodge a technique like that. So Izuku only has one option, something he never thought he had to use. As as they're rushing to, as Ida prepares his reciprocal burst. Izuku does his his hand signs as he prepares to use his torn his version his own version of the torn sky blast as he now instead of shoot instead of hitting Ida with it he actually throws it at the ground creating a giant crater in the process as he tells both Uraka and to to make them weightless to make them weightless and uses the jetpack to get to get out of there as soon as possible. After that, easy, they are able to escape as Shoto gets pissed off seeing this, thinking, damn it, damn it all. And there they try to get out as soon as possible and by using Momo's creation to create a rope to get him out and also and Shoto is and Shoto using an I, using ice to get him out of there as well. Soon after, time runs out and the cavalry battle ends with Izuku coming in first place, Shoto being second, Bakyo being third, and Shinto's team still coming in fir- still coming in fourth. However, his team is a little different. Being since one of his team, one of his teammates being different, being with Monoma, Monoma actually wanting to work with Shinso because the two of them, the two of them are kind of similar, and with his copy quirk, they would be able to get the upper hand. However, Shinso would still use his mind control to get both Ojiro and well, I- Aoyama as well. So yeah, they're still mind controlled. Soon after. The results are in, and the teams, and they're preparing for the next match, being the one-on-one battles. However, just like in canon, Ojiro soon drops out, saying that if he didn't make it in with his own abilities, then he can't, then he has no right to stand among all everyone else. With everyone surprised hearing this, but takes it anyway, as o- no, as t- things still go on, just like in canon. However, certain people are now part of this, being well, Kendo and well, Monoma. Tetsu Tetsu is still part of this as well. So yeah, just so you guys know. As the as the matches are being a little bit different, since Izuku will still fight against Shinso, Kaminari will still be fighting against. Will fight actually be fighting against Monoma instead. Kendo will be fighting against Momo since she replaced Tokoyami, and just and other than that, things are still the same. So yeah, as Izuku was about to leave, Ojiro was about to tell Izuku that not to say anything to Shinzo, as Izuku says, "Yeah, I know, he has a mind control quirk, isn't that right?" As Ojiro surprised, wondering, wait, so you know? As he says, I don't know how he does it, but I will figure it out. Just give me some time. As he soon disappears, as he ri- he's about to leave, until he hears both Ochako, Kendo, and even and even Ida saying, Deck, are you, aren't you not going to stay? As he says, I need some time to prepare for my match, since I'm the first one up, after all. So you think you guys can give me that? As well, at least we can at least relax a little bit. As Izuku's saying, "Okay, then I'll tag along," but but before that, he's soon stopped by Shoto, 
as he says, Midoriya, I need to talk to you. Soon after, Izuku's saying, what do you want, Todoroki? As he's saying, just to talk. Can you come with me for a bit? After that, Izuku's saying, I'll catch up with you guys later. Can you give me a moment? Soon after, Izuku, Izuku and Shoto are talking with one another as Izuku asked, what do you want, what do you want, Todoroki? Todoroki soon says, your quirk, it's, it's quite different. You are able to use multiple, en- multiple elements, and not only that, you can even use ult- other weapons. Tell me, what is your quirk really? It's something I've never seen before in my life. As Izuku saying, trust me, can I tell you that I just got my quirk about at least three years ago? As Izuku, as Shoto, soon surprised, what? How? Only somebody would have to be training their entire life to, I did. To make up for not having, I didn't have my quirk. Because of that, I was looked down upon. People said I was weak, pathetic. Until one person, one person gave me the strength, the will to fight. If it wasn't for his training, I would have never even got my quirk. So I'm not here to just be somebody's legacy or trying to one up somebody or trying to even become the number one hero. I'm here to show the training that my master gave me, everything that he taught me. That's why I want to become a hero so badly. As Shoto hears this, I see. So you have your reasons, and I have mine. My reason of being here is to show that I don't need my fire. I don't need my father's quirk to become a hero. As Izuku saying, what? As Shoto soon tells him the story about his life, about how his mom... How his mom was forced into a quirk marriage with his father, Endeavor. About how he went through years of tr- of abusive training to become his successor, to be beat to beat All Might. As Izuku was shocked and surprised that he's hearing this, that one day his mom lost it, and soon poor, hot, burnt hot boiling water on his on the left side of his face calling him unbearable as Izuku is sh- still shocked about hearing this but and so, and so he'll do whatever he can to beat to show that he can beat All Might that he can be the number one hero without using his left side as Izuku hears this he soon believes that's pathetic. As Shoto saying, what? You really believe that you can beat anyone with just using your right side? Using only your ice? You're pathetic. No hero can beat someone without giving it everything they got. No hero can save somebody without ho- holding themselves back. If you hold yourself back, you're not only disrespecting what it means to be a hero. You're disrespecting everyone else here who's working their, working their asses off to become heroes. Do you have any idea how, ev- how everyone else works so hard to get here? You're only doing this to prove a point to somebody that you, that you have no respect for. Do you not understand what you're doing is selfish and self-centered? As... Shoto saying, it doesn't matter what, she, what everyone else has gone through or what or how well they had their lives. I'm going to show that I can beat you and everyone else here just using my ice. As Izuku saying, really now? Without saying anything, Izuku was, su- uh, was, holding, was already holding up Shoto with one arm up against the wall at as Izuku, as Shoto is struggling to even to catch his breath, as he's saying, "How I didn't even you were unable to even see me because I was fa- moving faster that you can react." 
And not only that, I'm not using a strength quirk to hold you up like you're nothing. I'm using my pure raw power. This is the training I went through to be get this strong. And you were born with a, with a powerful quirk. And you want to hold yourself back? Then you would have no right to call yourself a hero. If you plan on fight, if we ever fight against each other, Todoroki, I will literally destroy you and show you the training that my master put me through. After that, Izuku leaves and is more pissed off than anything that somebody like Shoto, who was born with a powerful quirk, who was born with power, is holding himself back for somebody that doesn't deserve his attention where Izuku had to struggle and train, worked so hard to get where he is now and put himself through death itself to get this strong. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below and also like and subscribe, which helps out my channel a lot. At any rate, this is Leon Moki signing out. Later.